I repeat, do not Google to find the directions up here. I Googled it and it led me up a old logging trail. Uh, just all kinds of switchbacks, very steep. When I got up there, I talked to the rangers about it and they chuckled and said, yeah, Google's wrong. We pull people off of that switchback every week. Now, I'm in a regular sized van, but Google has led some big campers up that switchback trail. So I wasn't the only one fooled, but I'm 70 years old. I should know better. Check a paper map. But it is beautiful up here and it's well worth it. All right. Hey, Damien, talk. Damien, look at the Google car. Damien, Ty, can you see that car? Damien, can you see it? Huh? You can't see that little car in front of you with that big camera on it? You're, yes, you can. You're in the center of the... I am on my way to Cherokee National Forest to see Benton Falls. So the whole day is going to be an adventure seeing the attraction Benton Falls. Alright, we need to go over here and look at this gazebo overlook. I got off on the wrong road and I drove a switchback gravel road all the way to the top of the mountain. I hope I don't have to go back down on that same road. I don't know how it happened, but I got off on a gravel road, some kind of a switchback, and uh, had a rough time coming up this mountain. But I'm on the top, and I'm hoping I can find a different way out. Now I'm going to walk over here to this overlook. Uh, let me turn this camera around so you can see these steps I'm climbing up. Alright, let's go up to that gazebo. I'm on top of the mountain here. Alright, let's see if I can walk and look in this camera at the same time. Here we go. Now I'm not even near Benton Falls yet. I'm just on top of the mountain here. Actually, I really don't know where I am because I got off the beaten path. And uh, those of you from around these parts, you probably recognize that old mountain logging road I drove up to get up here. It's pretty rough on my truck. <laughs> but this is the view from the top. Isn't this amazing? I'm in a gazebo. I'm going to turn around and show you the gazebo I'm in. This is all made up beautiful rock work. There's not a sound up here. Far away I can hear the sound of a diesel truck somewhere. Just, just beyond words. Let's head back to the van and go find that Benton Falls. Now I, I'm, uh, I'm just going to have to go by signs now because I have no idea where I'm at. But that's the, that's the joy of an adventure, isn't it? Just getting out and seeing new stuff. I know I'm in the Cherokee Forest, and that's all I can tell you. I love these brown signs. Every time I see a brown sign, I've always got to check it out. So I'm going to stop at this historic site and find out what's historical about it. Alright, we're going to follow this trail down and go down there and see what's down there. Alright, here we go. I have no idea what we're getting into. But we're going down to see this historical site. All 
All right. Let me turn this around again so you can see what I'm looking at. Well, there's nothing on the signboard, so I have no idea what what was here. Huh. Oh, here we go. T.B. Haney, a Confederate soldier, was killed here. February 15th, 1860, 1865. I'd have to check those dates, see how accurate that is. Soldiers came to, killed, Confederate captured. I wish they had, I wish the sign was up here. I tell you what, if anybody if anybody of you guys know where I am. Put it in my comments, because the year 1865 doesn't seem accurate, but I guess there's a story to that. That's why it's here. So whatever information they had, it's uh, it's gone. Yeah, it makes you really curious, because so, someone spent some time putting this together. Huh. Yeah, there's no information here. I don't have time to follow this trail all the way down to the end, but uh, I want to get to the falls today. I'm not there yet, but hang on. I just want to get a, the beauty of this uh, overlook right here. Look at that. Beauty is everywhere. We just have to get off our recliners and get out and find it. Wow. Well, I'm getting close. All right, I'm gonna start on the trail. Benton Falls Trail, number 131, and over here I have the distance, so I think it's a mile and a half. Let's see what we got here. All right, Benton Falls Trail, number 131, 1.5 miles. All right, let's go. This is the beginning. All right, this is the beginning of the trail. I want to get to this on here. I'm up here all by myself and I'm loving it. This is just flat out beautiful. I gotta quit using that word. I gotta find me a, I gotta go to a therosis or whatever they're called and find me another word for beautiful. This is the beginning of my mile and a half trip. I saw a couple of rangers when I got up here. And I told them about my trip. I said, GPS got me on an old log trail. And they said that that has happened quite a bit where uh, where the GPS sends you up that gravel road. And I told them I, I, I was, uh, the further I got, the more concerned I was. And then I went through a uh, wet spot and they knew what I was talking about. And that sucker was deep, but I, I hit that wet spot so hard that I knocked things around in the van. But... Uh, Anyway, on the way back down, I'm going to stop over there and get some pictures of that trail, I think, just just because I want to do that. I wasn't about to take pictures driving up that trail because it took all my attention just uh, 
seeing where I was going up that trail. They told me how many miles it was on that trail. I already forgot. I think they said it was like three miles up that old logging trail. But they told me that uh, every once in a while they'll get a call and there'll be a camper that's, because it was a lot of switchbacks. They'll get a camper that's uh, got crosswise on there and they'll have to go in there and help them get it out. He's done it so many times now that I guess he just uh, goes in there and backs it out for him, I guess. But uh, I'm going to go back there on the way back down the mountain and stop and shoot some pictures of that just because I want to. All right, this is a moderate trail right now. They say the first mile is pretty smooth like this, but the half mile is a little bit rougher. I was thinking about bringing one of the grandkids with me in a stroller but after I got here I'm glad I'm out here by myself today yeah I'm I'm not even halfway there yet and uh, I'm sort of staying on the center of the trail and keeping my ears open because it's a uh, it's not real hot yet but it's such a sunny day I expect to see a snake or something out sunning himself but uh, if I do, trust me, I will not take a picture of it. I will just back away from it. But the beauty of being here in this time of day, I'm actually all by myself. And so there's no one around. I can just uh, talk loudly and not, uh, you know, worry about anybody around me. But then on the other side, if I trip and sprain my ankle, it's a long crawl back up this hill to where the where I was talking to the rangers. But uh, I totally enjoy this. This is a this is so much better. I always make fun of my recliner because I love my recliner. But it slowly wraps its arms around you and it won't let you go. I always remember that. It will never let you go. I can I can hear the water now, listen. I think I walked about a mile. I have no way to know for sure. But uh, obviously I'm getting closer. I can hear it. This solitude out here is great. All I've heard is a few birds. I'm still keeping my eyes down on the trail though because I don't want to accidentally startle a snake. Or rather have a snake startle me. So I'm watching where I put my feet, watching where I'm going, sort of. <laughs> yeah, if I would have pushed one of the grandkids down here in a stroller, I would have been, even though it's still morning time, I would have been soaking wet with sweat. That would have been quite an ordeal. Anyway, listen, I'm going to listen, listen for the sound, listen. down at the ground so long that I, I actually almost walked by this sign. Wow. The reason I even stopped to glance at the sign because I heard the water clear over here and I walked over to the edge to look down and <laughs> the sign is pointing down. I would have almost missed that. Alright, here we go again. Yeah, this is where the stroller I would have been ending up a uh, carrying him instead of rolling him I guess but we'll walk down here I was at a fall a couple weeks ago and it was stairs all the way down and this one is so much more convenient than the one that I walked down those countless stairs that was at the Cloudland Canyon in Georgia this is Benton Falls in Benton outside of Benton, Tennessee in the Cherokee Forest. I love that sound. I hope it, it gets into the camera. Can you hear it? Here's the first glimpse. I'm on the top. Now I'm headed down to the bottom. Just hang on, we'll be there in a minute. 
I love it. This is the first time I've been here, so I'm as excited as you are to see the falls. Well, you know, you really have to appreciate all the people that put the work into this trail. Look at this railing I'm hanging on to. I don't know whether to watch for snakes or watch for stones. Now I'm walking down, it's real wet here, so I'm definitely hanging on. Yeah, if I would have had one of the grandkids now, I would have had one sore back by now. This really, I'm not making it out like this is a rough trail. Anybody can do this trail, but uh, you're going to have to do it on your own power. You can't be carrying a, a two-year-old or a one-year-old with you on this trail. Man, look at this. I got I to gotta find another word for the word beautiful. So when I just say another word for the word beautiful, you fill it in any way you want. I've said it before and I guess I'll say it until I get done with these videos. Nobody paints a picture like God does. This is nature at its best. This is just this is flat out fill in the word. Look at this. I really appreciate all the work that was put into making this trip down to the waterfall easy for an old man. Isn't that beautiful? Let me just hold it steady. God, I, you talk about some labor went into this. Beautiful. I am almost to the falls. Oh, I, I see a little bit of it. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera. Some things I, oh, wow, 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 wow. Now I'm going to get a lot closer. Got to show you what I'm walking on here, so I got to watch where I'm walking. Wow. I am one lucky fellow. Would you look at that? You talk about seeing America one attraction at a time. Just the grandeur of that just blows my mind. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You guys help me find another word. Wow. I'm going to go down these stairs and then get a picture from the rocks out there. There's the pool. I'm going across this tree. Look at there. Alright, I'm going to walk down there and get a beautiful picture. Okay, I'm too close to get the whole thing, so watch me slowly climb it. I got to use that word. Beautiful. Oh, I am so glad I came. This is still the cool of the day, so I'm in good shape. I got a water bottle with me, so I'll drink that on the way back. But wow, wow, wow. I'd like to say this one's the prettiest falls I've been to, but it's almost impossible to say that. I like the fact I'm the only one here. Look at this, look at this here.
All right, that's the falls. I'm headed back. Chris and I will have to come here and have a picnic. Here we go. A long climb to the top. I'd like to think I was in shape, but I'm not. Whew. I do like these stairs though. Got the wooden railing beside it. All right. I need more subscriptions. I had a goal of 71 by tomorrow. That's my 71st birthday. But I guess 67 is the number I've reached for today. So unless I get four more subscriptions tonight, I guess I won't reach my goal. Whew. Hard, <laughs> hard to talk and climb up these steps. Wow. See you later. Thanks for watching.